Yeah, thank you very much and uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, let me thank uh, TV3 uh, for the good work you have been doing as far as uh, issues on education are concerned. You have been bringing to the fore and uh, to the knowledge of Ghana the serious challenges that we have in our educational system. And I think you should continue with that. I do not agree with uh, the minister because if we don't bring out the challenges to the fore, how will the authorities know when we are sitting in the comfort of our offices, know that these are the challenges uh, our communities are facing as far as the provision of facilities in our schools are concerned? Uh, this week, I think you have been talking about uh, school of shame, and it is making people aware that the situation in which we find ourselves is not the best. Uh, you have talked about the number of school children who have dropped out and so it is rather good that the media uh, takes that uh, responsibility or plays that role of bringing to the fore the challenges that we are facing in the, the system or the sector so that uh, those who are given the authority to provide these facilities make sure that they do so. So I do not agree with uh, the minister. He should rather thank the media for helping him know where the challenges are and how best he can be helped or he can help to resolve those uh, challenges that are in those uh, sectors of uh, the system or the education sector. Right. And, and uh, Mr. Nochikoto, in the broader scheme of things, would you agree that we really do have major challenges and it is widespread across the country, so solving it by one administration or one government will be quite a challenge. So maybe there needs to be some kind of a concerted effort. And then a, a roadmap or a plan sort of, so that irrespective of whichever government is in power, there is a plan that they need to follow. Would you agree with uh, those who have that school of thought? Yes, I agree with them. Because if you look at the three uh, segments that we have in our education system, the basic, the secondary and the tertiary, mm. you realize that uh, we are not allocating resources very well to them. Uh, most of the resources are needed, especially at the basic level, where the foundation, a good foundation has to be laid, where we give a quality education at the basic level. I am sure that when they get to the secondary school, most of these challenges uh, will have been solved. So uh, there's the need for a roadmap to be drawn. And the challenge we have in this country is that somebody starts something good, uh, another government comes, and then will not look at the merits and the demerits of uh, such uh, a roadmap or a policy, we'll put it aside, and then do our own because of uh, political expediency. And developed countries don't do that. Once it is a policy and everybody has bought into it, it must be followed. So until we come to realize that this is the policy we want to follow, this is the program we have designed for the next 30, 40 years, and no matter what government comes, that government must follow it, we will still have uh, these challenges. So I will appeal that uh, policy makers make this thing very clear to Ghanaians right. that we must follow a program and see it's a logical conclusion. We are grateful for your time as always, uh, Peter Nochikote, Honorable. Thank you for making time to speak with us. He's a ranking member on the Education Committee.